all right welcome so much welcome back to zimax news and today here there's something hot for you yesterday evening 25th of april 2020 around 7 30 pm celebrated kenyan comedian churchill Amokipen and Dambuki found himself at a very tough place after a post by one Robert Alai went viral on Twitter and it got Kenyans uh, responding in different, uh, in different ways, different opinions. In case you didn't see the post by Robert Alai, I will just read it for you right here. So Alai say this. Anyone who talks to Dan Dambuki, aka Churchill, tell him to pay the comedians who have earned him money. NTV has fully paid him, but because he leaves a careless debt with the poor financial management, comedians who provide him with content have not been paid since November 2019. So Ally claims that Churchill owes his comedians money since last year, 2019. He hasn't been paying them. So Kenyans went out in support of a lie, others in support of Churchill, and others were just uh, funny right there. We understand how Kenyans are on Twitter. So let me begin with those who are in support of Robert Alai. Some of them said, Robert Alai never lies. So he must be speaking the truth. Just to quote for you a tweet from somebody here. Okay, I'll quote one on Beaver Joseph OJ who said, rule number one, a lie never lies. Rule number two, if rule number two is wrong, refer to the rule number one. And other people went out saying a lie never lies. They believe in whatever he says is true. So, and others say many comedians have been on a silent mode and this is the time uh, for Bona Churchill to come out and and answer those claims and answer and respond to those claims, I mean, sorry. Uh, others went ahead and said, for this same reason, that's why one Eric Omondi comedian and his brother Fred Omondi left the show because they are not being paid. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, others went ahead to say, without the comedians, then Churchill has no content. Uh, one said, look at him right now doing interviews instead of comedy ever since the COVID-19 attack that spelt no more gatherings, hence no shows. She says Churchill uh, has been doing interviews instead of comedy. So he says without the comedians, he has no content. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Others were saying, others supported uh, a lie by saying the only way to make him pay is if another comedian will start a show a comedy show on another tv then that will make him pay just to quote uh, one twitter user here or oh, one anderson kimwaga jr said the only way to make him pay comedians is another good well of comedian coming up with his program like on season tv what i'm to rocket well kenyans on twitter let me now go to those who are in support of Churchill. Yeah, so many people also came out in support of Churchill. Uh, yeah, other Kenyans came out in support of Bana Churchill and Dambuki, saying he gives them a platform of exposure to showcase their talents and gifts. So they should hustle their way up and they go ahead and uh, pinpoint uh, comedians like MCA Tricky and Professor Hamo, who used Churchill show to gain a ground and right now they are radio presenters in different stations. So he says this guy gives them platform. So comedians should hustle their way up. Others said he has helped so much upcoming stand-up comedians. So they don't believe the tweet by Robert Alai could be true. And somebody also said Alai is simply one of those Twitter slam lords who earn their cash by spreading rumors in the name of fighting for rights. Okay, I don't know. You give us your take down there and uh, the comments section. And you also don't you want me some funny Kenyans uh, who say why should they be paid? Why should the comedians be paid? They should in fact pay Churchill for giving them the platform. Let me quote one 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 Twitter handler 
who said that these people are never funny so they, they should not even be paid but yeah one it's wiki said why should they be paid they are never funny they must make sure we laugh before they get paid at the end of the day he markets them and make them celebrities they should pay him just my opinion no hard feelings yeah those are kenyans on twitter and uh just to quote again those who say the uh, churchill helps these people uh somebody said kevin manja said this Churchill story is confusing. Comedians praising and thanking him for the platform. Does he intimidate his comedians? Because none of them has come out publicly to complain. One thing I know, he has helped so much upcoming stand-up comedians. Tag them here. They will attest. So the story has really brought forth uh, different opinions from Kenyans reacting on Twitter uh, yesterday. And others also felt that this guy should be understood. The COVID-19 has brought financial stress on almost everybody. Just to quote somebody here said, I saw some people complaining about this same issue and tagging him all over. He ended up blocking all of them. I hear Daniel Dambuki is struggling financially at the moment since NTV terminated his contract when Corona kicked in. He needs time. Understand him. So this whole story has just brought up different reactions from Kenyans. I don't know what's your take. Share with us right down there on the comment section below. And before we leave, just make sure you click that like and subscribe, subscribe button, and we will give you more, more updates, news updates. Yep. Till next time.